Wearing his many hats. And here's another man who wears many, many hats. Oh, we, very we large hats. We have a bishop with us as well. Oh, we have a guest. Uh, to introduce him. This yes. is um, Bishop Adam Ndudu from Sudan. And I just yes. thought I would ask him uh, quickly what he thought about the assembly this week. So tell us what yeah, you thought about Tell us about your experience. Yeah, the assembly is very great. Uh, we enjoyed the worship. We enjoyed the, the teaching. And uh, uh, the mission for this church is uh, good. And uh, I like it. And everything is good. I enjoy it so much. Can you tell us a, a little bit quickly about your diocese and your province, for those who might not know or where really you're located? your story. Your story. Yeah, my diocese is uh, Diocese of Kadugli in Sudan. Uh, this area has been going on war for a long time, and uh, there is persecution uh, going on in Sudan, uh, especially in my diocese. My house was destroyed. My offices were burned in year 2011, and many of uh, priests there were kicked out, uh, including myself. Um, but in the same time, even though many things uh, go wrong, but the church is alive, the church is growing so much, and uh, I'm, I'm very happy for the growth of the church in this time of war. Can you tell us about how many clergy do you have, how many churches do you have? When you speak about the growth, you say, I know, but I just want to hear from him. Tell us about the growth of your diocese and what God is doing there. Yeah, in this time of war, people rely so much on God, and uh, I have over uh, 100 churches and uh, 118 uh, priests. They are, most of them are in Diocese of Kadubli, but some of them they are in, uh, in refugee camps in Kenya, in Uganda, in Egypt. Uh, but the church is growing in all these areas. You know, the, um, the blood of uh, Christians is, is, the seeds, um, is the seeds of the church. So how can we, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to ask no, you one just, question. Okay, go, ahead. Go, ahead. go ahead. Never mind, oh, I'll stop, just, I'll stop. No, I was just going to say, I, I just want to encourage folks to pray for Sudan. That's what I was about to ask. And, and yes. the church in Sudan and, and the faithful that are there that are really in incredibly tough times. Yes. And so uh, those of you are listening, uh, just uh, keep Sudan in your prayers. Um, they, they're having a very tough time. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. And You're welcome. Thank you. God bless you.